Chess Optics here with five ideas that I think can help anyone improve their chess game. Number one, analyze your own games. I know you've heard this before, but it's very helpful, especially if you make the same mistakes over and over and you find yourself missing certain tactical lines of play that cause you to be on the losing end. So remember, analyze your own games. And when you analyze your own games and you use an engine, always and uh, I have to emphasize this, always try and think for yourself first and allow the engine to be your guide. Um, so that is the first idea. The second idea, and um, this idea is probably what, <clears throat> excuse me, your chess coaches tell you, is to make sure that you would do at least, I say at least 25 puzzles a day, 25 chess puzzles a day because you need to have pattern recognition um, committed to memory. So you need to know how to mate, let's say with two rooks versus a king, a queen and king versus a lone king. Also um, other major piece check mating patterns. And there's also pins, skewers, mate, threats, things that you should recognize um, immediately or on cold sight when you look at the board. So chess puzzles actually help you uh, create this pattern recognition system. Um, and I suggest that you solve 25 puzzles a day, minimum. Yes, minimum. Um, also, number three, my third principle, uh, not principle, but my third idea that I think will help anyone improve their chess game is remember to look at end games. No, literally, because end games actually help you finish. I mean, you could be in the middle of a game, you could be winning, but if you don't know how to finish, what was the point of the tactical skirmish? You have an advantage of a pawn on the sixth rank that you never push, you allow it to get captured, so on and so forth. How do you play opposite colored bishop in games, rook in games? You should know how to draw a king and pawn ending cold. So the basic end games you should know. And there's interesting books um, that could help you. One that I have here on my library is called uh, Silman's Complete Endgame Course. But the endgame book that I started studying with um, that helped me a lot was Yasser Sirwan's uh, endgame book. Um, so definitely put your endgames um, to use. Uh, study endings. Basic endings you should have down. I mean, you can add to your in-game repertoire as you go on. Um, that's always an option. Um, the, the fourth thing that I suggest is if you play a, a particular opening, commit at least three games from players that are stronger than you to memory within that specific opening uh, variation. What this will do is it will give you confidence when you're playing. Um, you'll know um, that you have studied some of the greater players in these positions and you'll know certain plans. Like, And then when you're playing, you won't be guessing and trying to figure out instinctively where your pieces should go, what you should do, what the pawn structure should be like, so on and so forth. So the fourth principle is, I keep saying principle, but these are ideas. Remember, they're ideas. They're not um, mandatory. They're not things that you have to do. You can come up with your own ideas, but I'm just making suggestions to you because these are some things that have worked for me and some of my students. Um, so <clears throat> that's the fourth idea. The fifth idea, this is the simplest of them all. Take a break. <laughs> it's that simple. Take a break. Sometimes after processing so much information, chess information, especially as complex as it is, we tend to try and get more and more and more thinking that the more information we get, the more we'll know. But this is uh, an error that I find. So 
what you need to do is take breaks do something else play some pool uh i don't know whatever your second thing is that you really really like to do do that for a little while then come back and allow your brain to process the information that you put in it um and that is what this whole video was about five ideas that you can use to help improve your chest i hope you enjoyed this it was short but if you found something valuable in it it was not just short it was short and valuable may your chest be the best oh don't forget like and subscribe peace i'm out this is chess optics Broke confetti, Brooklyn in the house, Broke confetti.